fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hot Ohio silver, the Lone Ranger. Forceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, Silver. I'm Silver. John Cameron was forced to go east because of his health. He left Murph Saunders in charge of the Great Circle Bar Ranch. And then six months later, Murph died. All of Sunset County wondered who his successor would be. Joe Kendall, who had handled Murph's paperwork, or Happy Yates, the foreman. The odds favored Joe because of his youth. But suddenly, a startling announcement came from the east. Cameron had hired a stranger to the county, a young cattleman called Bill Adams. Adams had conferred with Cameron in Baltimore and was now on his way to take charge of the Circle Bar. All of Sunset County awaited his arrival with great expectations. The stage pulled into Pleasantville where the passengers who were continuing on to the west would stay overnight. Bill Adams was just starting down the main street to the hotel when an Indian touched his arm. Tonto, uh, is our friend anywhere around? Uh, him camp, out of town. I'd sure like to see him. Uh, him want to talk to you. Mr. Cameron said he was riding him in care of the Padre. A um, mass friend, get letters. You hire a horse at livery stable, spend night at camp. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. The Lone Ranger's camp was in the hills above the town. And after they had eaten, the masked man, Toto, and Bill talked far into the night. I've got so many questions, I don't know where to start. Well, I think Toto and I can answer most of them. What about the ranch? Oh, it's in good condition. You'll have a good crew. I won't have trouble with any of them? Why should you? You know your business. Yeah, but there's Joe Kendall and Happy Yates. Didn't both of them expect to get my job? Oh, Happy not want to be manager. He wants to stay foreman. And Kendall's already quit. Really? Yes, to run for sheriff. He's just been elected. Well, in a position like that, he can still cause trouble. You must know that you're going to have trouble with a lot of people, don't you? Why? Because you've been ordered to fence the Circle Bar range. Oh, so Cameron told you. Yes, that's the main reason he felt you'd need our help. Do the ranchers have any idea about what I plan to do? Oh, they'll find out soon enough. That's for sure. What do you think about it? I believe it's a wise move. The county isn't right for farming. But that won't stop homesteaders from moving in. And after they find out they've made a mistake, the land won't be any good for range either. True enough. The difficulty will be in making the ranchers face facts in the future. Making them realize the days of the open range are past. I know the time. 
How they hate barbed wire. <laughs> Tom and I should be staying near the ranch. You may need our help. I guess so. I guess so. Do you think I ought to start wearing a gun? You've been getting along without one. Yeah, but... Wearing a gun forced you to kill a man once. With self-defense, you had no choice. But when the jury acquitted you, you told me you'd never wear a gun again. I won't either. Still, I'm mighty glad that you and Tonto will be somewhere around for a while. Bill reached the ranch the following afternoon and called all the hands into the ranch house that evening. Happy Yates, the segundo, who had earned his name by constantly looking on the dark side of things, stood beside him. Fire down, boys! Fire down! Boss has something to say. I'm glad to meet all of you. They tell me there isn't a finer crew in the whole West. Oh, no. Don't get your hopes up, boss. They're a mangy lot. Quiet down, you boys. Listen. Well, I want you to file homestead claims on every inch of ground in this valley. Homestead claims? What for? We're cowhands, not farmers. Now, just hear me out. I know you're not farmers, and you don't have to be. The law says that if you file a claim to a section of land and build on it, the land is yours. You don't have to farm it. It can be used for grazing. I don't get it. You mean we're not going to live in the bunkhouse anymore? You'll have to live in your cabins. You'll still eat up here. Uh, now, that isn't all, though. I was afraid it wasn't. We're going to build a fence all the way around the Circle Bar Range. Oh, oh, oh. You can't mean it, boss. We'll start as soon as you file your claims. A fence in Sunset County? A fence all the way around the Circle Bar Range. Miles of it? Miles of it. Now, that fence must be built. If you want to be counted out happy, that's up to you. You can draw your time with a two months bonus. I've been here five years. And I'd hate to lose you. But this goes for everybody. The job must be done. If you don't want any part of it, you'll have to draw your time and clear out. Well, I... I guess the man would like a little time to think about it. Sure. Any questions you have, I'll be glad to answer. Did old man Cameron give you the go-ahead on this? He sent me here to do it, Happy. I can't understand it. Probably gone stark staring mad. Sure. He's smarter than either you or I. That yeah, must mean the poor old coot's near in the end. The doctors say he'll be back here in six months. Uh, wants to be buried here, huh? Well, most likely me and the boys will be sticking by you, son. We'll pile the claims and we'll build our cabins. We'll build the fence. Then do you know what's going to happen? The Circle Bar Range will be safe. Yeah, but we won't. You're right, Abby. Our rancher friends will have something to say about that. Yeah, right, we yeah. won't be living all together here. We'll be scattered all over the valley. Yeah, sure. They'll get us one by one while we're sleeping. Mark my words, Bill. There won't be a mother's son alive at the end of the year. Right, right. The following day, Tex Martin's daughter, June, rode over to the Circle Bar and invited Bill to a dance to be given in his honor on Saturday night. Bill accepted with pleasure, welcoming a chance to meet his new neighbors. But during the week, the Circle Bar crew filed homestead claims. And the news that the Circle Bar Range was to be fenced in spread like wildfire through the county. Bill was branded as a traitor. And when Saturday night came and he drew rain in front of the Martin Ranch, he found June waiting for him at the top of the steps. Good evening, June. Mr. Evans, I didn't think you'd come. And tonight, tonight? Oh, we're having a party, all right, but you'd better not stay. Well, if I'm not welcome... It wouldn't be safe. You're mighty unpopular with the men inside. There'd be gunplay. I don't carry a gun. Oh, the more reason for you to be a moose. I'd like a chance to talk with the men. They've heard your arguments. They got them from Happy. I might be able to explain a little better. What is there to explain? It's simple enough. Oh, Bill, I like you. You seem to be a nice hombre. But what you're doing is all wrong. No, June. You're asking for trouble and you'll get it. Your fence will never be built. And if you don't give up the idea, why I... Oh, there's no more time to talk now. I hear Pa and Joe Kendall. They're coming outside. Kendall, the sheriff? He's the worst of the lot. Says he was elected to protect the rancher's interests, and he aims to do it. I'm not breaking any law. That doesn't matter. Please go. Oh, there he is now. Get out of here, Adams. There we are. There's only one way to deal with that fence-building homestead and coyote. Go for your gun. You're Joe Kendall. Yeah, the sheriff, aren't you? I'm not wearing my badge. This is man to man. 
Sorry I can't oblige you. I don't carry a gun. Well, we can fix that up. Give him one, boys. Sure, no, thanks. Oh. Yellow. Hmm? Boy, you... Take off your gun belt and I'll answer that with my fist. That suits me. Hold my gun, Tex. Sure. No, you can't. Now, wait a minute. Inside the house, June. This is no place for you. Oh, you've got to stop them. Inside. Now, come on, you poor cat. Come and get it. I'm ready. It was a hard fight between two evenly matched opponents. Oh. Each man took as much punishment as he handed out. Oh. But the time came when Bill saw an opening to the sheriff's jaw, and gambling put all he had into a right cross. Oh. Kendall dropped to the ground, and Bill turned to face a circle of hostile faces. Now, does anybody, anybody else think I'm yellow? No. It'd be a lot better for you if you were. Give me a hand with Joe, boys. We'll take him inside. Oh. If you'd only listen, get out of here, Adams. All right. That's the way you want it. Good night. The Lone Ranger had told Bill that he would be camped in a wooded canyon to the north of the Circle Bar Spread. And it was there that Bill rode. Oh, boy, I hope he's easy. Howdy. Brings you here at this time of night. <laughs> Can you see my face? Yes. You've been in the fight. Yeah. I rode over to the Martin Ranch party. Sheriff Kendall and I put on the entertainment. They're all against me. You knew they would be. And I still know I'm right. But I don't want to take any chance of my boys being hurt. They're all living out on their claims now, and... Well, what shall I do? Go ahead, Bill. You mean that? Yes. We keep a close watch on the sheriff and the ranchers. We'll do our best to give your men protection. That's the promise I wanted. Thanks, Mr. But the ranchers made no move for several days. And then one midnight, Toto rode into camp. Oh, oh. riding hard, Kimasabi. Ah, that big meeting at Martin's ranch. Trying to get close enough, hear what them say. What? Tonight. Ranches with bandanas over faces. They'll go to Happy's cabin. When? Maybe the on way now. All right, let's go. He's sitting before. Oh, oh. Oh. As the Lone Ranger and Toto neared the shack where Happy was living, they could see a cloud of dust to the south. The ranchers were only half a mile away. There was no light in the cabin, but the Lone Ranger knew Happy was inside. His bronc was grazing near the door. Oh, 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 yeah. Easy, easy. That's the wrong fellow. Happy. Huh? Pull on your boots. Kendall and the ranchers are on their way here. Kendall. Hurry, I'll take your saddle. Here, Tonto. Uh, me get four saddles for these back. Yeah, you can see him coming, all right, splitting the wind. You remember I told Bill that, hey, you're not from the ranch, you're mess. Never mind that. I'm a friend of Bill's. Horse already. Climb aboard, Happy. Right. Easy, Jenny. Come on. Come on. Come on. falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Toward the ranch house, a bright glare painted the sky behind them, 
Pappy's cabin had been fired. The flames could be seen from the ranch house. And when the Lone Ranger and his companions reached it, Bill and half a dozen men were already paddling up in the main corral. Hold oh, oh, oh. Pappy! A masked man and an Indian with him! Oh! Easy with your guns, boys. The masked man and the Indian are friends of mine. That's what they said. They saved my life so I didn't ask any more questions. How come, boss? The Indian's name is Tonto. The masked man calls his horse Silver. Does that explain it? The Lone Ranger. Right. Oh, 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 oh. What happened, mister? Kendall and the ranchers were out to get happy. They would have, too, if it hadn't been for this masked man and the Indian. This means that your men will have to sleep in the bunkhouse from now on, Bill. You bet. We'll round them up right away. A fine sheriff. Leading a bunch of night riders. They were all wearing bandanas across their faces. Tonto says it was Kendall who talked him into this raid. Isn't that right? And you all know why. Kendall has a personal grudge against Bill. Sure, he wanted his job. He liked nothing better than to get rid of him. The building of the fence gives him his excuse. He don't scare us any. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. We'll show him how fast a fence can be built. We'll with you, Bill, 100%. Oh, no. You'll have to be on guard every minute. And Bill, you better carry a rifle and the boot on your saddle from now on. But I thought... It isn't the same as carrying a six-gun. If your men are attacked during the day, you want to fight with them. Yeah. And uh, don't ride alone, day or night. Well, I made you a promise. Oh, I'd like one in return. Makes sense. All right, I promise. Well, you see that he keeps it, mister. Good enough. Move to the watch out. But there were no more raids after that night. The ranchers were thoroughly ashamed of what they had done, and Kendall found it impossible to persuade them into any further violence. That was why he rode down to the southern end of the county one night. And there in the valley where the pines grew thick and tall, he met an old friend. An old friend and an outlaw who called himself Tombstone. There were over a dozen men in Tombstone's camp. A long time since you paid us a visit, Joe. Yeah. Why now? What's happened to the long game you were playing with the ranchers? Oh, they're letting Adam go ahead with his plan. Yeah. Not doing a thing to stop him. What about their trade last week? Nothing came of it. You, uh, still want to be the manager of the Circle Bar, don't you? With Adams out of the way, I would be. So you've come to see me. Yeah, old friends are best, Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never done business with a sheriff before. Well, well, this badge don't mean anything to me. You know that. Maybe so. What's your idea? Just get rid of Adams. Uh-huh. If uh, we were to take him prisoner, old man Cameron would pay a healthy ransom. No, what's the sense of that? Dry gulch him, that's all you have to do. And you'll pay me what? Plenty. As soon as I get to be head man of the circle bar. Well, leave him a figure. Listen, I'll fix it so you can drive off 500 head a year. A thousand. You sure you'd get the job with Adams out of the way? I'm certain. Might be worth a try. All right. When? Just leave everything to me. You'll find out when, when it happens. Three days later, Happy and Bill rode along the boundary of the Circle Bar Range toward a wooded arroyo. Getting dark, boss. I want to show you where to run the fence along here. Remember your promise to the masked man? I'm not alone. Yeah. Practically alone. I think I'm in mighty good company. See that draw? Yeah. Martin's cattle use it in the water hole. We'll run the fence this side of it. Let's give Martin a break. It's only fair. Look out! They're shooting from the draw. It's an ambush. had already fallen when the Lone Ranger and Tonto found Happy lying on the ground. Oh, 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 he's up. The cowhand groaned and sat up as they drew rein beside him. Oh, my head. You've been wounded. Uh, bullet creased scalp. Not the manager. What happened? Ambush. I was riding with Bill and... Where is he? Where's Bill? He isn't here. You sure? They, did... they didn't kill him. Doesn't seem likely. He may have been taken prisoner. Who would do a thing like that? I don't know. I don't think the ranchers would. I'm sure they wouldn't. Don't <laughs> fix bandits. Notice any tracks around, Toto? Uh, there are plenty of horses here. Them head south. Any chance of following the trail? Not to not know. They're rough country to south. Perhaps the best thing to do would be to report this to the sheriff. Kendall, 
I think he's responsible. You might be able to find out if you talk to him. Maybe. And watch his reactions as you report the ambush. Yeah. And Bill's disappearance. Tell me, are you strong enough to ride? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, uh, maybe hurt a little, but it get better fast. Yeah, thanks, Tondo. Your horse near water hole. Hunter, get him. Here, let me help you up. <laughs> there. Tondo and I'll ride with you. We'll wait outside the office. Good. All right, let's go. Lone Ranger and Tonto waited in the shadows of the building across the street from the sheriff's office when Happy went inside to report the ambush. He came out again in less than ten minutes and ran over to the masked man and the Indian. Well, mighty funny. Really? Yeah. First he took it for granted that Bill was dead. I told him he disappeared. He almost went berserk. What did he say? That he was going to follow the trail himself. I said he might need a posse. That a whole crew would ride with him. He said No. He was going alone. Well, he's out of office now. Yeah. yeah. There he goes. Straight out of town to the south. He's going to pick up the trail if he don't go out to Martin's draw. He doesn't have to follow any trail. He knows where he's going. Uh-huh. Get after him, Tonto. Mark the trail for uh-huh. us. You bring posse? The ranchers. That's good. He's got Come on, Happy. Summer. Our first stop will be at Martin. Get him up to town. Texting you on the porch. Who's that? It's Happy. But the armory with him. We've been cactus, he's mad. Don't go for your gun, Tex. This is a friend of mine. A friend? He is the armory you rode off with. The, the night... night that you tried to kill me. I... Yeah. No, no, Happy. We never meant to do that. To scare you, that's all. We wouldn't have done You that. sound ashamed of what you've done, Tex. I guess maybe I am. But who are you? Happy told you. A friend. We have important business. You see, Happy and Bill were dry goats tonight. Oh. Did the ranchers have anything to do with it? On my honor, no. Bill, is he... Did they kill him? We don't know. Oh. We're hoping he's been taken prisoner. Will you help us find him? Sure, and all my hands, too. But where are you going to start to look? We have a trail to follow. Let's make it fast. Sure, I'll hurry. South. There was a moon, but it would have been impossible to follow the trail if it hadn't been for Toto's signs. At last, after two hours of hard riding, they saw Toto waiting for them on the edge of the forest. Are you what's I believe horses here. Crooks make camp in the middle of the woods. How close can we get without being seen? The tree is plenty thick. You be careful when you get to edge of clearing. Maybe you hear him talk. Ever seen Bill? Uh, him prisoner, wounded. And the sheriff? Him there, too. Him have fight with Tombstone. The leader of the outlaws? Ah, what's this about the sheriff? You'll find out, Tex. Careful, everyone. Don't make a sound. Right. So follow Toto. It was so dark in the forest that each man had to hang on to the belt of the man in front as they followed Toto. But at last they saw a campfire flickering through the trees. Silently, they crept forward to the very edge of the clearing. Kendall and Tombstone were standing face to face with the other outlaws around them. Bill Adams lay on the ground beyond Tombstone, a bandage around his head, his hands tied behind his back. Tombstone, will you listen to me? Put a bullet through him. Put a bullet through him and get it over with. Oh, shut up. But if you don't, I will. Go for your gun and you'll be one sorry chance. I can outdraw you any day in the week. Now, listen. Now, you listen to me. Even with Adams out of the way, I don't think you'll get the circle bar job. So we get in touch with Cameron and find out what his manager's work to him. Oh. The double cross, then. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for tipping us off. Thanks for telling us how valuable Adams is. Why, oh, get out of here. Not a chance. Swiftly, Joe drew his gun. The muzzle pointed straight at Tombstone's heart. But not a trace of fear showed in the outlaw's cold gray eyes. You see, Tombstone, you were wrong about my draw. You pull that trigger and you'll stop a half a dozen bullets. Your men might like a new leader. Uh, yeah. This hombre's right name is Kino Kenyon, boys. Uh, no, hunted for murder in Missouri. Why? Turn him over to the law, dead or alive, you'll all get pardoned. Now, wait a minute, boy. You think they won't shoot now? You're safe as long as you don't try to interfere, Tombstone. It's Adam time to guess. Well, I guess we won't stop you doing that. We'll stick to the original deal. All right. 
Stand aside. Now, Adam. Tombstone's right. You better shoot. If I live, you'll hang. You probably will anyway. No, oh, no, I'm going to. Oh, my arm! Open your hands, oh. all of you. Oh, no. oh, 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 o